Welcome back, everybody. Something big happened while we were on break. A car chase in New Jersey, which is not where we normally see them. This time of day, they usually come to us out of California. This one, no, East Coast special. Northern New Jersey on Interstate 80 as we look at a Toyota Camry. The driver, as far as we could see, is a man wearing a golf shirt, uh, driving where we know not. But look at all the police cars following this guy. We've got Chopper Audio, and the Chopper's name is Sky Fox reporter Kai Simonson. Let's take a listen to find out if we can see what this guy allegedly did to spark this thing. Next to him, so it does look like there is a passenger in that car. I have not been able to confirm that just yet, without with beyond a reasonable doubt. But uh, it does appear as though he does have a passenger. And once again, this guy surprisingly reacts. It looked like he was smoking before for when we had him on Route 80, and in fact he was. He just threw the cigarette butt out the window. Uh, again, looks like uh, speeds of about 85 to 90 miles an hour. Uh, he did swerve around uh, one individual there and just barely missed hitting somebody in the right lane. But again, has not caused any injuries as far as we know, has not caused any accidents just yet, but they are still in pursuit, in hot pursuit of this individual, a Toyota Camry. Looks like a late model Toyota Camry with Connecticut plates. Now, the uh, pursuit actually started a little earlier this morning on the New Jersey Turnpike, according to reports. They just simply wanted to pull this guy over for speeding. Obviously, he has no in interest at all in uh, pulling over right now, but the pursuit went from the New Jersey Turnpike northbound out onto Route 80, and then according to reports, again, we have not been able to verify this, but according to reports, he made it all the way out to exit 25. That's pretty much Warren County. It's about 45, 40, 45 miles from here, but uh, we haven't been able to determine if that's uh, in fact the case, but you can see he is continuing southbound here along the New Jersey Turnpike, approaching now what looks like the Secaucus area. The Secaucus tolls are just ahead of him, so he's going to be coming into the area of where Giant Stadium is. Again, does not show any signs of wanting to stop. And we're listening in to our Sky Fox reporter, Kai uh, Simonson, report on the details, getting a little bit more information there. Now we know, according to, to Kai, that this, this, this thing started allegedly because this guy had been, uh, had been speeding. And the authorities attempted to pull him over. He would not cooperate. Started on the New Jersey Turnpike earlier this morning. The guy headed north again, to Route 80. And has gone, according to Kai, about 40, 45 miles, although they're trying to the confirm south that. Side of the New Jersey Turnpike, and Rob Angelos, a pilot in command here, is pointing out that he's approaching the Secaucus toll plaza. So let's see what's going to happen here as he tries to get through this toll plaza. Now he's behind somebody. Let's see what this guy does. Let's see if he hits the brakes. No, he took off. Now, it looks like it's oh. going to come to an end right here. He's now getting he's getting out. out. Individuals getting out, New Jersey State Police troopers grabbing him, going to pull him out of that driver's seat, down onto the ground. You can see on the other side of the car, it looks like they're grabbing another individual. So it looks like this is going to be brought to an end, hopefully peacefully. We have numerous New Jersey State Police troopers pouncing on these two people. So this looks like this pursuit is going to end here just at the Secaucus Toll Plaza, southbound side of the New Jersey Turnpike in the Secaucus, New Jersey. Now, a little while earlier, we've been telling you throughout this whole process that this police chase began on the New Jersey Turnpike northbound in the same area. The individual made it out to the westbound side of Route 80, possibly all the way out toward uh, Exit 25. It would take them a while to get out to there. Uh, unclear exactly why these folks were running from police, but we do know that uh, police did want to pull them over, supposedly for speeding, and uh, obviously this individual had no interest whatsoever in pulling over. And take a look at that. I was, by my count, I've got 16 or 17 uh, New Jersey police on, on the scene to affect these arrests, not just of the driver, but of his passenger as well, it, as you heard our uh, helicopter like pilot talking about. Passenger. I apologize for the exhaust here because it's very hard to maneuver with the winds and, and the, with, the, with the way the exhaust is blowing. But you, the, over toward the top end of your screen, that is a female, and then toward the bottom end of your screen, the driver was a male. Yep, pulled over for a speeding originally, or at least that was the attempt. 
decided to do the wrong thing and take off. This is how it always ends. Normally it doesn't end at the toll plaza, however, Greg. Right. This is the first time I have seen that. And actually, if I know that toll plaza, there's a way you can actually get through without stopping. I'm a little surprised, given the chase, why the driver didn't do that. Oh, but really? he stopped. Yeah. This guy was going between 85 and 90 miles an hour during the morning commute on the New Jersey Turnpike and then on Interstate 80. We saw some uh, video where he was weaving in and out of traffic, completing some dangerous moves, going over on the, on the shoulder and so on. Right. Nice way to begin your Labor Day. And as we like to say here on America's Newsroom, when we see these things to conclusion, enjoy prison. Yeah, you're going to be there a while. Take care. All right. Great white sharks. They have been spotted off the coast of Massachusetts and several beaches are now warning the swimmers, get out of the water.